previously on blood stains not quite scrubbed clean where's the blood from it yours i'm 100 percent sure it's not ours maybe the intruders bullet holes cocked up someone tried to patch up the bullet holes assuming neither of you had anything to do with this no of course not use meds Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him? Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. I managed to get back to the HQ building since Judy did call me earlier to let me know that everything is all set and ready to go. So I'm here meeting with Judy and the dolls hey, and you ready? ah, there she is. Nice. You nervous, Tom? How'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does. Just different program. You're great at that. So glad you came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. I'm glad she agrees. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. Just remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. Got no time to deliberate and weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up even for a second. Could cost you your life. Okay, no pressure, I guess. And Michael, where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. All right, we going in? Let's do this. All right, go ahead. I'm following your lead. I'm surprised you haven't... Oh, he just dipped. Okay. I'm surprised Jenny hasn't said anything yet. But I have a good feeling he's just... sitting on the sidelines waiting to see how all of this is going to fold. All right, so... Clouds? Maintenance? Where are you going? By Anthony Harris, known also as Peter Pan, has reached a happy ending. You two head in right after us. Go straight to Clouds. About fucking time. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. Got a jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? Take them out? I'm good. I could definitely do that. Alright, give me a few seconds and I'll slice all of them out. Go. Alright, one is gone. Second one is good. Hell no. Nah. Bye. What then? Everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. Not coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. Besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. Okay, alright, good point. Get in breach security. Get me in the penthouse. Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Gotta manage on your own. Okay, on my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. That kind of sucks, but you know what? I am definitely... A master at adapting, so penthouse I go, I guess. 
plan is How's going so good so far. Who's taken which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. Both parties are are in their respectable destination area. And I am all the way up. That way I can attack from the top to the panels. Alright, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful though, okay? Ooh, ooh, okay, so... Alright, so I'll just jump through here. Ooh, shit. Ooh, okay. And that was a very high jump. Almost busted my ass. On my mark. Go! Yeah, sorry, man. You saw me. I just had to keep it closed. Didn't want you to snitch. Is there any cameras here? Oh, that sucks. Alright, so I don't mind taking out goons. I mean, I have a good feeling that, you know, not too many of them are gonna come out anyway. Alright, that's the third one. Now what? Ooh, okay, shooting, nice. Not bad. Come here. Alright, I just love having this katana, thank goodness. I'm not really good or into the guns in this game, so I, I am definitely a big melee fan. Oh Jesus fuck! Floor's clear! I killed him! I killed him all! Already? What the hell? Go to the surveillance cam in front of the security room. I was hoping you'd make less trouble getting here. Sorry. My bad. Luckily, they're all jacked into virtues. It'd be game over otherwise. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. Tries too hard. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? I don't even know. That's our target, Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Oh, fuck that. Who are the other two? target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my know face. The Cut it out, Johnny. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Michael. I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Michael, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I know how this needs to play out better than anyone. You gotta trust me. Okay, fine. I thought fine. this through many times. All right, fine. Meaning you want to replace her only. Mm-hmm. Even if that means joining the Tiger Claws. How the fuck else do you expect me to protect Clouds from other gangs? Don't like this one bit. Too late for second thoughts. Tom and Roxy have done their part. Your little doll revolution is underway. Either we consolidate and win it all, or let everything go to waste. Do your thing. All right, well, I trust you. Well, no Barker. Wait, what's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. She murdered Oswald Forrest. 
And now she's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking with such zeal? Judy, I can't focus. With your permission. What's there to focus over my dead body? We were gonna Stop get rid this. of him. Am I to understand these as your conditions? V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Hiromi's gotta go. So I have been told. And what then? Would you execute all the clients and leave the doors to fuck one another instead? Michael will make sure you receive a steady flow of funds in exchange for full autonomy. She'll continue running things as she has run them till now. But from now on, it'll be official. Maida-san? I have nothing to add. You know what always annoyed me about Hiromi? He had no vision. Oh shit, is he- Call off this massacre. Is he gonna kill him? He is a man who will not scratch the end of his nose unless you tell him with which hand to do it. He's gonna kill him. Oh shit. Oh shit. We have one last formality to fulfill. At midday tomorrow, I will present to you terms to which you will agree. Your engagement ends here. If ever you should require stable employ, we are not difficult to find. I'll think about it. Thank you. I'll take this weapon. Anyways. Yep, I'm coming. Thanks, V. First transfer from Cloud's new manager coming your way. Thanks. How Don't much? Don't mention it. I know what a well-performed service <gasps> is worth. 17,000? Get the hell out. The hell did you do, V? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no time to talk now. Just get out of there. You're clear for the elevator. I'll be Ooh. waiting by Jig Jig Street. Oh, she's pissed off. You know what, though? I remember the last time when I actually did this quest, I did the opposite. I killed everyone, and the outcome of that, of doing that, resulted in just Judy being sad about losing a friend. Alright, so let's go to the ground floor so we can meet a pissed off Judy. Fuck, V. Damn. You just stood there and watched her play us? As if that wasn't enough. You took her eddies, too. She was right, Judy. Granted, didn't tell us what she was planning, but she probably knew you wouldn't agree to it. Well, fuck! A club as big as this, operating in such a niche, needs a strong hand at the helm. And a strong gang to back it up. Bullshit! You're just spewing words now, V. You took her eddies, so the sitch is clear, cut, and dried for me. You're a merc. She's a soulless, conniving bitch, and I'm a sorry-ass gonk. Well, then. See ya, Judy. Oh, come on, really? Okay, well, I got a really pissed off Judy. Compared to a sad Judy. But either way, it sucks. Okay, so this gig just popped up on my screen, which I really don't mind. I was trying to figure out which quest I was going to do anyways. Uh, let me see. Woman of La uh, Manchia? Alright, so let me go ahead and just ask around the market about Anna.
Ooh, what's this? So, this is looks like we found the last honest cop in the city. Her name's Anna Hamill, and whatever she's investigating, it's made her a lot of enemies. She'd do best to cut it out if you catch my trip. Okay, look, I know how it sounds, but somebody would have taken this gig anyway, right? I don't know. Maybe there's an angle you can play here. Either way, info's attached. Let me see here. Anna Hamill is a blue blood cop through and through. The kind you expect to see in some NCPD promo. Beautiful, smart, honest, to a fault. In other words, a really bad fit for the Night City. <laughs> Her NCPD colleagues are another story. They all have back problems from sitting on fat wallets. This current case Hamill's working has them all breaking out in hives. She's digging into the smuggling racket in Kabuchi Market, which, if she makes any real headway, means bad biz for her cop buddy's finances. They want someone from outside the precinct to nip this thing in the bud. Normally that's where I leave it, but I want to add one more thing. I kind of feel bad for the girl. Rather she not flatline if you can avoid it, convince her to skip town, or drop the case and make a career change at least. Ooh, okay. That's crazy. Okay. So let me see if I can ask where she is or not. Hey, I'm I'm asking to talk, but no one wants to talk. Like, look out! Okay, my bad, my bad. Damn, I just want to know where she is. How come no one wants to talk to me? Is this a glitch? I bet this is a glitch, huh? You know her? Wait, I do know you. You're that fixer fairy, making waves. Do what I can. This woman, she knows how to ruffle feathers, but she's a good person. Is that clear? Doesn't step on a ripper's toes. My business ain't your concern. She's staying in the hotel, third floor, room 303. She's a good person. Okay. That was easy. And that's based off of my reputation. See, with Cyberpunk, if you have done so many quests, your reputation as a merc goes up. Ew, I don't want to pay. Hey, there you go. That high look like paying. But yeah. Ooh. What's this? You are delayed to welcome you as our newest guest. Your room number is 203. We wish you a pleasant stay. This is an automated message. Please do not reply. So, as I was saying, the more quests you do in Cyberpunk, the better reputation you have. So, if you have a high reputation, then scenarios like what just happened would come easily. On the contrary, if you don't have any good reputation, then it will be difficult for you to complete certain tasks. Ooh, there she is. Stop! No Ooh. one more fucking step! Hey, Who no. put out the hit? Give me a name! Anna, drop this investigation. It's in your best interest. That a threat? No. I'd remind you, you're the one in the fucking crosshairs. Hey, easy. I just want to help. Help? Phonic implant must be fried. I think you men intimidate. Just to end your investigation. Really pissed off the wrong people. Which people? Tell me what fucking people! Your buddies at the NCPD set you Stop. up. Stop! Fucking! I fucking knew it! Robert Kowalski and Bill Adams! Motherfuckers! Let it go. It's not worth it. Yeah. Know what? I'm not letting scumbags get me killed! There you Fuck go. Them. Fuck this job! 
Fuck this city! So, Anna, what's next for you? What? We chooms all of a sudden? The hell do you care? I dropped the case like you wanted. You can fuck off, Merc. Damn, okay. Whew. You don't have to tell me twice. Shit. I was just trying to be nice and give the option to leave without being killed, but okay. Go off, I guess. Alright, so I have to fully leave this area, so let me just speed run out of here. And I'm good. That was pretty intense, like... Pretty intense. V of the silver tongue, eh? Glad we got it all worked out. Contract closed. Thank God. I was not in the mood to, like, shoot anyone. So, in the beginning, way in the beginning of this game, when T-Bug was alive, she got me a gift. And I definitely came here to get said gift, so... T-Bug's death. What did you hear? The truth. She got burned. Like anyone who tries to hit Arasaka. They found the body in her pad. Nervous system fried. Oh, God. You know what that feels like? Can't say I do. They say it's like a hundred thousand knives stabbing you at once. I can't imagine a worse way to go. Poor girl. I liked her, too. How's this work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here, grab some shady running soft? No, not just any punk. Over the counter, we fix cyber decks. But if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, I'm sure you will find it. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. So you are V. I'm sure you heard what happened. Real shame. She left a demon for you. A gift from beyond the grave. It should work on any third gen deck. Got a Militech Paraline. Think it'll do. Solid gear. Mm hmm. For a beginner. Okay. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. So this is what I need. Okay. Equipping quick hacks in your cyber deck. Alright, so I have to equip the ping quick hack in my inventory. So... Uh... So I need to... let me see... Get that... Ping... Did I... So I gotta upload ping to the camera to find the access point. So what, here? Here. How do I do this? Ping. Yo, that's nice. Okay. So what do I do here? I jack in. Oh, this is nice. Okay. This is sweet. No! Oh, shit. Uh... One... Fifty-five. Ah, sucks. Alright, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me try this again. Let me try this again. Second time or charm. Alright, so... One C, right? Fifty-five. 
There you go. Thanks, T-Bug. I appreciate the gift. I miss you. Sucks how you died. But again, I appreciate the gift. You know, even though I've been playing this game for over a year now, it's like... Some of the characters I met throughout the whole series has stuck to me. Like, Jackie. Carrie? Gary. Uh, Johnny? Exactly. Johnny's not home right now. V speaking. Okay, okay, okay. So that was just a one time thing? You know, like your cheating wife paying you a conjugal after you locked up. Pops by once to shut your conscience and disappears for good. Sounds about right. And I'm sure Johnny'd appreciate the prison metaphor. Something particular up, Carrie? A job of a kind that seems ideal for you. Corner of Gray and Malagra. Early morning. We'll talk. Cool. Huh. All right. Well, in that case, let me run over to Carrie's, see what he wants. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and... I'll see you next time.